itagefe urine da tai iya ka da watan surare watanda bisa ga aladu akwe damba manchi tu amang digda haka Allah ya te miketa tana zaman lapi ada seorang urare banda wana loka chinna da akasa ama irwana wada mumu nya dache wa zaman ya dache wa nufing Allah ni wana yana yi tasamimu so ada di jimana nya paru gaski alu kachung bana gari tu nada u gari ni sena zuna ga aja da jamu deka hanku nashi Tu sana dia wana abu yasa nadi zuri ana gabat dia bana yes jom wani abu ati kini kena wanda dia cuci yasa ni farin tiki sehidu kulum bagi tiki kau. Ayah pada agar musim gabut muzona ina jam bagi tiki se kuma bawa muna makaranta. Ada na ya sa ba mura kudi na msa kijeba. The Safer World Foundation is a non-government organization and a non-profit organization that works to reduce violent conflict and tries to reduce the impact of conflicts on individuals and communities with focus on building safe communities for people. Particularly in Kaduna, where we've been working lately, Safer World has had a very peaceful experience, a very exciting one. The people in Kajuru and Jamal and local government have been very accepting. We have seen them change from our coming and we have seen that there's visible impact on the people. The communities have been totally welcoming and open and they have also expressed the fact that they want more of safer world in their community. Peace building and community cohesion is central in the activities of Safe World Foundation. I was a man who 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 was an sanar da ni ne a cewar wa yanzu muna da training na na workshop na raunin zuci sarki na nan kalla ya aika in zo na zo aka ce to akwai wasu mutane sun zo taimakin bayan Allah a nan garin kalla to ni ma Allah yasa na samu rabo na shiga cikin wannan abu abun da yasa na jawo shi da plan ne yanda ba mu yi masa komai ba kawai suka zo su ya kore mu a garin da ma tun da mun rasa baban ta ba ta wasa da ta zo ta shiga cikin yara ta fara wasa when you come to a community like this and you see the intensity of how insurgents have ravaged these communities, leaving people with um, emotional wounds in their hearts, as well as physical injuries and a lot of um, devastations in the communities. You feel pain seeing all these things happening. Kamu nak cuci mana? Rolun zuci. Kamu dah akan zua aku koyak mana? Masalah rolun zuci. Wan dah mungkin dia worki. 
ba tare da ya sha wahala ba to wannan kwaiso zaka zo kamar na gaskiya na fahimta kuma dan iya bada abu na foristan akan abubuwan da aka koya mana kuma akan abubuwan da naji a yawa ku adikin baya yanzu ba na jin shi a cikin jikina kuma ko zama da mutane to ni da ban iya zama da mutane ba amma yanzu na koya kuma na iya zama da mutane wanda ko da naga ana rigima ne ni na san da ra'ayi a daina wannan rigima gaskiya na koya abubuwa da dama dalili da abun nan ya faru da mu lokacin ba na bacci sai dai yanzu ina zaune ne kawai haka da na zo na karbe kwaisuwan nan na fara jin dadi zuciya na na fara jin kwanciya zuciya na har na fara samu bacci ma lokacin har yanzu haka lokacin dai to na yi tunani ko wada su abubuwa ne za a kawo mana haka kamar tame ko haka dai ban yi tunani cewa za mu samu kwaisuwa ne wanda zai faranta mana rai haka ba amma yanzu dai na ga dai kwaisuwa ma ya fi ko me ne za a ba mu dai haka well i learned about trauma trauma healing trauma is what you see what you heard or what you do that causes pain a deep pain in your heart well everything was interesting but what i found most interesting is the way it was conducted the way the program was conducted and the facilitator he was putting more light in his teachings and i understood many things a kame wannan beta ta zo a garin nan mu an sai ni mai haushi ne mai jin fushi ne dan abu kadan zaka ga inna bagan ganin barkati amma yanzu nan bayan beta nan ko da kai mu magana da ya soke ne sai ga na kwanta da hankali na in barka kai magana bayan da kaga magana sai maka magana kadan kawai shikenan yanzu na canza na jin haushi kuma da mutane beta nan ya tumake ni masama ga ma iyale na dumi duk duk wanda ya kawo damuwar shi a gurna nakan sai shuru kuma ina kokarin je wani wurin nakan sai in ba su lokaci in ji damuwar su in sun gama sai in yi biyama mutum bukata amma ba ta shawara ba what i learned about these people is that they are people that are willing to forgive and to forge ahead The issue of forgiveness after these communities have been ravaged is not an easy one. But after the program their willingness to forgive those that have ravaged their communities killed their young ones and even burned down their houses and their food stuff goes a long way to tell me that yes these are people that are willing to make peace reign once again in their communities so it's a very, very wonderful experience for me and i am most grateful for them just ya beta na yayi mutume ko sosai dai na samu kwance zuciya nan lokacin ma na ce ko dan ba hushe ko a gudai haka in ya gaishe ni ba zan amsa ba amma yanzu haka da na samu kwaiso na ya faranta mu rai dan na samu kwance zuciya nan yanzu har na magana da su ma haka dan na je su a madadai mutane da ba su san wani abu da na fara zuwa nan an ci gaba da kai kwaisuwa na samu salama cikin kwaisuwan da kun yi min na ji dadi a raina har wannan yasa na samu lokaci ina shigan cikin fulani da ausawa ina kuma fadakar da su cewa ababan da sun faru yanzu na yafe musu na koya a kuri na koya yafe din su gana abun da suke yi yi abun da nake son ga masu shine godiya ta musamman mun gode masu da mun kasance wansu a cikin waɗannan kwanakin kuma ina so da son shine samu sai su ci gaba da waida mu mutane da kai haka ni kara kai na ina da kuma so da kawari ba zan bar wannan abun ya sai a gurna ni kade ba ni ma zan kokarin ni ma in fadakar da wasu game da rauni zuci
So our plan for sustainability for this project is ensuring that we train others to be able to take after us. And we are doing this in a method where our training has been able to build what we call listening and healing companions, where we've trained men, women, and youths to be able to support themselves even after we've left. We've put together action plans with them to be able to handle cases of trauma and be able to just serve as listening companions in their communities. I was healed. The collaborator for this project is Yusei Neri. They gave us a grant for this project, to actualize this project, and they are working with us by coming on the field to ensure that what we have said we will do, that we are doing it, and we are working hand in hand with them to ensure that this project is completed. Through this training, I was able to write a poem, and one of the verse I wrote was, my heart is aching and itching every day and night. I sleep in misery and anguish. Peace, 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 where are you? I've searched everywhere for you, hoping to see you soon. Nigeria needs you, just as a mother cannot sleep without her child. Kaduna State longs for you. Peace, peace, peace. Where are you? I've searched everywhere for you, hoping to see you soon. Many souls are perishing. Lots of properties lost. People are suffering with trauma. Peace, peace, peace. Where are you? I've searched everywhere for you, hoping to see you soon. Women are calling on you. Youths are terrified. Children have become orphans. Women have become widows. Men have become widowers. Peace, peace, peace. Where are you? I've searched everywhere for you, hoping to see you soon. Peace here, peace there, peace everywhere. Peace today, peace tomorrow, and peace forever. <laughs>